Hi there, everybody. Today, I will be showing you a little hack with the Coinco CT48 vending machine. Now, in most cases, if you own a vending machine, you're there to make money. But in certain circumstances, having a free vend option isn't always a bad idea. And if, with a machine this old, it's turning on free vend isn't as easy as flipping a switch. Sometimes, well, in most cases, actually, if your vending machine has a Jones plug, you need to be kind of into wiring to be able to figure out how to set free vend. And if you do, the coin mechanism will not be functional. Fortunately, for this specific machine, the only tool you will need to accomplish the free vend is a typical screwdriver. Let's get started. Now, whether you own a business and you're trying to make some side cash from your employees, but by night you're throwing wild office parties, you can turn any of these selections from an awesome money maker to a compliment to enrich any party or event. You see, I could put money in and purchase a selection, but if I pull any of these open, they'll just open for me and I don't need to put money in for it. Now to show you that I'm not pulling your leg, I can open all of these selections just fine, but when I insert a dime, which it's set to for this demonstration, you heard the relay activate, the counter hit, and the coin hit the coin box. There's nothing inside of the coin return. I can open and use the vending machine like normal. So nothing big has to be done to the vending machine to make this happen. Now I'll be happy to show you guys how the actual mechanism works. But before I get into that, I took the liberty of drawing a really rough uh, kind of demonstration because it's really hard to show on camera. Uh, so I hope you guys can pick this up. This is the whole mechanism that allows you to pull a soda out. You see, and this is the side view, there's a solenoid and a switch. Though that, that has not much to do with the whole system, it's just kind of interesting to know how it works. There's a solenoid that keeps this bar up. This bar right here comes directly from a rack where when you pull a soda out, it forces this bar this way, as you can see in this demonstration, right? But this bar right here is blocking that. So if you try to pull a soda out, it will push up against this bar, but it won't allow you to open the, uh, the machine. When you insert money, it will pull this, the solenoid will activate pulling that bar back and it will also activate this micro switch, which cuts off the, the coin acceptor. So it'll release an electromagnet to prohibit any coins from actually being inserted. It's like kind of like a fork It'll force all coins to the coin return. But anyhow, so it'll allow you to pull, uh, pull a soda out. And when that happens, this bar has room to uh, move over as this is underneath of it. So my idea is to take the screwdriver and put it right down here to prevent this bar from ever being able to go back and keep this bar down. But what's good about it, it will not prevent the machine from operating in its normal way. And if you want to set it back to paid vend, you just take the screwdriver right out of that area. Let's show you how it works. And just to show you, yes, this machine does have a Jones plug. It's kind of far back and difficult to access. And remember, if I were to modify this machine using the Jones plug, this coin acceptor will no longer work, at least until the wires are removed. Alrighty, so here's the whole system that allows a product to be vended. You see, this little thingy right here is that bar activated by that solenoid right there that allows a drink to be vended. This bar right here coming towards the camera is pushed out when a door is opened. Say I insert money. That bar is pulled back to allow that, that other bar to come outward, which 
allows a door to be opened. You see, it goes right back in place. We'll do that again for you. So, all we're going to do to set this machine to free vent Insert a coin, pull a door open, keep it open, and insert the screwdriver. Now, you will see that bar is still held in place by the screwdriver. If I inserted a coin, you see that other bar is pulled back by the solenoid again, as if it was always closed, and still vent products. And even with this screwdriver here in place, it doesn't prohibit the workings of anything with this machine. The door may be closed, sodas may be dropped in, and yes, of course, products may be vended as usual. And to disengage the free vend, all you have to do is pull the screwdriver out again and the machine returns back to normal. So that's how you do it. Now this will go without saying, but this video is intended only for those who own this specific vending machine. If you have access to it, but you do not own it, and you activate this to give your friends a uh, free soda, that is effectively stealing. And that is not the purpose of making this video. I don't want people to steal. Stealing is very bad. And let's be honest, if you're watching this video to steal for, from your boss or your company, that is wrong. That is still very wrong and quite frankly you are not welcome onto my channel and you are not welcome to watch this video. But since you've already made it this far, you know how to get free vend. So I guess there's not much I can do here. But if you are here doing this legitimately and you liked this uh, tutorial, please make sure to leave the video a thumbs up if you don't like the video or you thought my way of describing how to do it was really poor, go ahead and give it a thumbs down and tell me why. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope y'all enjoyed it. With that being said, thank you guys for watching and that is it.